being a good freerider and being a good competition freerider are two very different things. So today we're going to talk about those cons, try to understand them better and try to pick out all the little tips to make you a better competition freerider. Freeriding is not necessarily about the competition. It's about being out there and having a great time in the mountains. But if you really want to get better, being out there in a comp is like watching yourself into the mirror, getting out of your comfort zone. All those little things will make you push your commitment to the next level and therefore make you a much better freerider. So there's going to be five different criteria for the judges to decide who is the winner. Difficulty of the line, technique, control, jumps and fluidity. To be honest, what's most important and the way I've been always doing it is to try to do a line that you're really proud of and to be riding with a smile. It's not very easy to practice competitive free riding and besides the technique, it's quite important to spend time filming because when you film, you see yourself. You see yourself when you're good, but you also see yourself when you're not so good. And therefore, you can see all your weaknesses and strengths and work on them. The better you know yourself, the better you're going to be at choosing a line that suits you and where you're going to be shining. For scoping, usually in competitions, you're going to go a lot more into detail than when you're just riding for yourself. So you're going to have a pair of binoculars which is going to allow you to zoom in really tight on landings, on takeoffs, on things like this, to see really features in a very precise way. A good technique is to take a few photos uh, and you're going to be able to memorize your line because, you know, having your line really dialed is all about repeating it over and over in your head. So generally, I always like to choose a line that's going to be as direct as possible, especially in snowboarding, every time you traverse, it kind of cuts the flow. One thing that I like to try is to take a line that's going to be simple and where I'm going to be able, if I feel really good when riding it, to step things up. So I will have the one line with a few options where I can basically be a chicken or a champ. Usually I really like to walk up because it gives you time to be in your own little bubble you can chat with your friends, you can question yourself, you can ask the opinion of other riders. Whenever you start to get close to the start, you start to acclimatize yourself to, to the void, to the pitch, to the angle, to the kind of quality of the rocks and of the snow. And all those things give you a better feeling, a better understanding of your line. At that stage, it can be good to have the photo into your phone and be zooming into it so that you can confront what you've been seeing at the bottom and what you see at the top. Starting first can be good because you have no tracks, you're having a blast, verging power run, no bomb holes. But then starting last can be good because your run has been cleaned, the takeoffs have been marked on the cliffs, so that can be also quite helpful. So depending on the competitions, sometimes it's going to be better to be first, sometimes it's going to be better to be in the middle or at the end. But at the end of the day, you don't have the choice. <laughs> It's usually quite a mess when you're out there. Everybody is stressed. There is a lot of panic from everyone. Everything has to go quick. It's usually a bit windy and cold and it's gonna be maybe a helicopter going above your head. So it's important to think about your line, to just think about what you're gonna be doing. And usually to feel better, I really look into it and I see all the features and I tell myself, okay, that I can do. If you've done a good job on the scoping part, when you're going to be dropping in, everything is going to happen by itself. All the information is going to be stored in your head and it's going to be all natural. <laughs> 